So today we're going to dive into the best email apps on the market in 2024. We're gonna help you find the right one for you and give you all the insights that you need to know. If you're interested in any of the email apps mentioned in this video, dive into the description to find them all, as well as in-depth reviews over on Toolfinder if you're hunting for more apps. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco. If you're new here, do subscribe and check out Toolfinder. Today's video is brought to you by SaneBox. If you haven't checked out SaneBox yet, it helps you clean up your inbox by using artificial intelligence. It has a range of features that will allow you to organize your email as you go and works with all of the email clients listed in this video to help enhance the experience. So today we're diving into the best email apps. The first one on our list is one that is a little bit more expensive but one of the more premium email apps on the market and that's Superhuman. Superhuman is probably the best email experience on the market if money were no object. I mentioned money because it's priced at $30 per month. It's a little bit cheaper on the annual pricing. However, largely this application is designed for those who spend maybe three to four hours on email each day and want to enhance that experience. Now the application itself is really, really fast and it's available on Mac and Windows as well as iPhone and the likes of Android too. And it is very rapid. It's much faster than Gmail. It loads email, searches for emails and sends emails very fast. And everything from moving between emails and managing emails is probably the best I've seen from reviewing productivity apps for some time with email. Now Superhuman is also got a few AI features more recently launched allowing you to craft up a better email, summarize your emails and also respond fast which is a great addition. A lot of more AI features coming on the roadmap I'm sure but it also allows you to manage your calendar in there too which is a great feature for saving time switching between that and calendar function here. So number two is one called Sparkmail and it's developed by a company called Redo. Redo, one of the most respectable productivity creators on the market. They have lots of different apps, including the likes of Calendars, PDF Expert, and many more as part of their suite of productivity tools. But Spark is really nice. It comes with a clean user interface. And what I say is it's the best all-round email application, meaning it is going to be on a wide range of devices, but it comes with a friendly, fast user interface, but maybe not be to the premium level of superhuman but delivers a really great all-round experience. For the premium users you can utilize priority inbox for managing emails coming into your system that are more priority than the other ones and there are a bunch of features in here that you can use with AI and also manage your inbox much smarter. The settings page is full of different ways to customize your account and the premium isn't vastly expensive in comparison with other tools on the market for what you get as the experience. Number three is Missive. Now, for those who don't know, Missive is a collaborative email application. So it's not just designed, designed for individuals, it's also available for small teams that want to coordinate email together. And what I mean by that is if you're writing lots of emails to people or getting customer support emails in and you want to collaborate on those, then you can do that in Missive. And you can leave assignments, tasks, even a bunch of extensions and integrations with apps like Todoist, OpenAI and many more, all inside of Missive. And I actually used Missive for about three years, a couple of years ago now, and it was a really customized experience, meaning you can literally change everything from the gestures to how it looks and really make this customized experience. And what's great is if you're somebody that may be an entrepreneur, a freelancer, and you're looking to scale your team, it's not just good as a personal email experience, very fast, easy to use and has loads of customization, but it's good if you want to scale and add new team members to help collaborate on email, which means you can leave comments for them, assign stuff to other people and collaborate over multiple email inboxes, which is very helpful for saving a lot of time especially as a small team. So I would check out Missive if you're looking for a more advanced email experience, but you're also open to collaborate on email too in the future, or you're open to it as you are right now. Next up is Spike Mail. And you may have heard of this one because it's sort of like if Slack and email had a baby. What the application does is allow you to communicate with somebody on email as if you're writing a message. It has that very much that unique design allowing you to collaborate there. But Spike 
Spike also has a really nice user interface allowing you to just scribble between messages and also chat with team members if they have Spike Mail too. They have an entire team workspace plan, which means you can collaborate not just on emails, but also on the likes of documents, tasks, and much more, which allows people to be a little bit more collaborative and maybe even replacing Slack Connect, which a lot of people pay for in a company because it allows you to, with the team pricing plans and the team domain, to essentially start collaborating with other people that are outside of your company. So that has lots of benefits to it, having that unified uh, communication in one space. So I would look at it more for those who are looking for conversational email and looking for to bring all of their uh, messaging and communication inside one application because it's good for internal and external communication. You can find Spike Mail below and a little bit more detail in our review as well. Next up is Hey Email. Now Hey is developed by the folks uh, from 37 Signals, which is a very well-known productivity company. And to be honest, I checked it out a couple of years ago and I was very impressed. The experience requires you when you get started to get a hey.com domain name. So you can get, like if it's available, the name of yourself, maybe Francesco at hey.com and start emailing from that. Some people may ask that hey.com email might be like starting again, but you can forward your Gmail emails into there. And if you decide not to use a service and cancel your subscription, you can have it forward uh, any hey.com emails going forward, meaning you can keep the alias and you can keep things going forever, which is a good bet. And it doesn't just have email anymore. It has calendar function too, which you can check out a review of the calendar experience. But let's look at the email experience. It does offer probably what I would consider the most productive email experience on the market. It's got something called an inbox and a bunch of different ways like send and reply later, and also ways to split out your emails and also ways to gatekeep away from people sending new emails to you. There are a bunch of new ways that you can combat email by doing things in a much more productive sense. Think of everything you've learned about email over the last 20, 30 years that you've learned and is ingrained into your routine and basically erase it because Hey tries to take an approach that is much more productive and much more priority focused on your inbox. Next up is Canary Mail. Now this one is an AI based email application that's been growing fairly rapidly in the market. It primarily focuses on doing smaller activities for you and comes with something called a co-pilot which helps you to organize your inbox but also it helps you to prioritize emails that might be important for example a flight that you might be taking it might bring up that email through co-pilot using artificial intelligence to scan your inbox and find the right one for you now to be honest if this is something that worries you with artificial intelligence scanning your inbox then obviously it might not be for you but a lot of these email applications are going to be doing it in the future so worth checking out canary if you're interested and our final uh, email app recommendation is one called Newton Mail. I actually used to work for the company. Well, I used to work as a marketing consultant about six, seven years ago now. So <laughs> I have no affiliation with it, but largely it's a really friendly and easy to use email application. What it does really well is it comes at a fairly reasonable price these days. If you look at the market, like Superhuman, which is $30 a month, even Hey Email, which is $99 a year, Newton Mail is actually $49.99 a year. And you get all uh, cross-platform devices with that and all features and it's not going to blow you away like superhuman but it's going to give you a reliable email experience a little bit like spark mail more of an all-round experience for uh, managing your inbox so largely newton mail is probably one i recommend more for all-round use versus a specific use probably upgrades what you've got with something like gmail and just takes you a little bit further so there are loads of emails on this list and hopefully we can give you the best one for you so what i would say is the best collaborative one on this list is missive. It works very well. While some of these do have collaborative functions, this one is the best one. If you're looking for a super productive email, I'd take a look at Hey Email. I think it's really worth your time if you're looking to invest in how you do email and manage it. And finally, the best all rounder I would have to say is Spark Mail by Riedel. This is a fantastic one that provides you with an all round nature to managing your inbox and does come with a generous free plan as well. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the best of email apps for 2024. If you're in the hunt for more of them or you have checked out these email apps in the past, you can review them over on Tool Finder, which you can find over on the link in the description. And naturally, if you're interested, you can find all of the apps mentioned below. But a huge thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Cheerio, folks. Bye.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing. And naturally, there are reviews, insights, and much more. So do check it out below. But thank you very much for watching this video.